villager okay. this time. All right, very well. He wants to shut him down on the ground, get that moving Lloyd more of a uh, more of a hassle in Kinzer's way that he has to avoid. Yeah, and I definitely agree with the villager as well. Pick right here. The items and item play definitely mess with Sonic and his approach. So I'm gonna see if that's gonna be the case in this game. That's what. Yeah, that's what Chapmunch needs to do. He just needs to get those aerials out there, the forward airs, those voids, those back airs. But then Kinzer needs to hit Chapmunch's face because there is no hitbox on Lloyd whenever it's first spawned. So if you can hit Villager while she's spawning Lloyd, you'll get that free punish. Oh, that bowling Ooh, ball with those coming bowling out. Balls, though. Oh boy, good use of the neutral B homing, bro homing Sonic right there to avoid that bowling ball. Yeah, I feel like yeah, Chapmunch is going to go for a lot of those bowling balls. Kinzer's just going to want to slide into Chapmunch's face. So how much he's gonna try to try to go for that spare. Definitely have to respect that. Kinja doing a good job at, at, at keeping Chat Munchie in disadvantage, whether it's off stage or above him. Definitely, and right now we're seeing pretty much an even stock game. The tree is in effect right now, so the axe is available. Definitely have an axe will kill. It is a, it is a heavy hitter. All right, good up tilt gets Kinja off stage. Tree going away. Chapmunch is nearing out a shield over and over. It's not the worst option. All right, and a great up smash will seal out Kinzer's first stock. Yeah, he noticed he was jumping around too much, so he just he put out the fireworks. Oh my goodness, Kinzer launching himself right into that tree, and will lose. We'll get 30% based off of that good combo right there. Not too bad. Yeah, Chapmunch is going to look for these spare percents, just these. Occasional forward airs, these occasional nares, just give him the extra credit for the stock. Of course, yeah, and at 38%, Chat Munji can now just take his time and wait for Kinzer to make a bad move. Like we're seeing right now, Kinzer's approaching, and Chat Munji just is being able to play safe, respond, and get just those spare hits, or just a little bit of percentage, and yeah. to get that extra credit. That narrow to shield on all of Kinzer's misspace moves, you're right. He's just getting too impatient. 68%, that's not. It's a Not solid D plus. Solid D plus. That's right. You know, D's get degrees. Yeah, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I want to see Kenji's trying to go for, go from the air to Chat Munchie to avoid these voids and these forward airs and, and back airs. And I hope Chat Munchie picks up on that and starts throwing out more up smashes. Just like we saw before, Kenji will jump up, Chat Munchie throws out the up smash, and it'll just Definitely, and right now Kinzer is doing what he needs to do in order to take what lead he can, getting in in, in Chat Munchie's face and racking up enough percentage. And right now, even out of the percentage score, Chat Munchie can't play safe anymore. He can't. Kinzer's getting in his face. Sonic's just too fast for you to play your own game sometimes. Yeah. Ooh. And then he gets it with that down angle forward smash. I feel like Chat Munchie should have tried to at least to get to the other leg. Maybe go into the stage, do a little knee trick, but Kenzer is just keeping him at that ledge, and Chapman had no answer! Finally! But he got that roll re with the bowling ball. Yep, definitely not a strike, but a spare nonetheless. A spare nonetheless. Now let's see if he's able to access any more points and get... And he has! He's now... Taking the lead right yep. back. Definitely. The lead has switched hands multiple times so far. These two are playing such a close game. Oh, All definitely. these nares coming out of a chat munchie. Kinzer just can't approach. Oh, what's he gonna do? Chat munchie was reading the low recovery. Not quite gonna throw out a bowling ball. Kinzer Good. went high to avoid it all. The back here. There it is. Oh, like I said, Kinzer no. just wants to throw out all these hitboxes, and chat munchie can just drop a bowling ball and eat them all. Eat them all. And that's what you saw right there. It didn't exactly matter. What it was. Just he got that bowling ball when it counted, and that was a definite strike. Yeah, it spare was. into strike. That was a spare into strike. Thirty yeah, points. Thirty <laughs> points. Fantastic, fantastic bowling from Chat Munchie. Yes, fantastic bowling. I think we're we're, we're definitely gonna see. Uh, I think they're both gonna stay. Yeah. Kinzer's gonna stay. I think Chat Munchie's gonna stay, but it depends on whether or not he wants to play this. So. I feel like he did a decent job, but it was a close game. It was game. a very, very close game. Very close game. Hit for hit. Hit for hit. I would definitely be considering possibly going with the Ed Is Isabel if he so desires. It's a possibility, but yeah, he's comfortable with the villager. He he, he knows he can get the job done. Yeah. So he's gonna put it into work here. What stage did they pick? Oh, right back to Animal Crossing. Oh, KK Ryder making an appearance. It is Saturday night. It is Saturday night. 
Kenzu's just, I feel like Kenzu's got to dash a lot more. He's using side B too much, and Sonic's run speed is just too good to only use side B. Like, I appreciate Kenzu wanting to make sure and uh, deny Chat Munchie the ability to set up shop and launch those Aloids, get the tree, and, and just deny the item game that Villager has, but he needs to do it safer. Definitely. He needs to use different options, go in with possibly a, a spin shot to forward air, or or go in and when he doesn't get the hit with the spin dash, go in to, straight to his trampoline to mix up right, his... to get out of the way. Yeah, to mix up his options, use forward tilts like that to, you know, just confuse Chat Munchie and get... Yeah, Kenzie's just being way too aggressive off stage. Yeah, just He's just going for these unnecessary down airs, and Chat Munchie's teched it time after time. Yeah. Because now you can just buffer teching by holding shield. Pretty much. So... These stage spikes aren't going to get Kenzer much. And then Chat Munch is going to get that bowling ball. Kenzer just gets too greedy, like we just saw. I mean, he has racked up a little bit of percentage, but I mean, now Chat Munch, he knows that he can just take his time with it, wait for his opponent to make an, a risky move, which we're seeing just happen time and time again. Yeah, Chat Munch, like I said, Chat Munch, plays his character so well. He will take his time and he'll just, yeah, he'll shut up shop. Because he can. Exactly, because he can. Yep, and then gets the bowling ball again. 66% that almost killed. Okay, the tree comes out, but doesn't land. See, there he is again with the down I think he's trying to pop both the balloons without hitting Chat Munchie, but that's just too risky because you give Chat Munchie free stage control. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the effort and I appreciate the opportunity, but it it's not paying dividends. It's not. And he, he already lost the stock because of it. So he does take it with the forward air, so he does take stock number one. But he's at a pretty consist considerable disadvantage right now. Has to get Chat Munchie to like 130%, whereas Chat Munchie against Kinzer only has to get him to like 65, 80%. He's in kill percent right now if he gets the tree, gets the bowling ball. Definitely, yeah, that bowling ball takes stocks real early. We saw it earlier on the skill, what was it, like 60? Yeah, so. All right, good back air. Even a back air at ledge, yeah. All right, just barely avoiding that tree right there. Kinzer gets hit by that Laloid, 126%. How much need to, he needs to seal this stock quick. Because Kinzer is making this comeback right now. Oh. I would, I think I would rather see Kinzer edge guard with up B instead of down air. Just drop off Spring Ride and try to pop the balloons with that instead of yeah. down air. And so we see there, the stock did get taken by the back throw. Chat Munchie only at 98%. Chat Munchie's really not even threatening with the tree. He's not throwing out any axes. He's not like chopping down the tree to threaten a tree fall or anything like that. It's just, it's there. It's there. And it's just making a small barrier. Yeah, he has to respect the, the area that the tree is placed in, so... I don't feel like he really needs to though, because Chat Munchie isn't isn't threatening anything with the tree. You're right, he's not really going so for the action. I think Kinter does not need to respect the tree at all. Until Chat Munchie proves that he needs to. Yeah, we've only seen really one tree get chopped down. All the other ones have gone away. Yeah, he hasn't even he hasn't even chopped them halfway. Uh, okay, so he does take the stock. It is an even game again. Only 32% on the stock. Yeah, I want to see Kinzer jump. I'm not jump, but uh dash a lot more. A lot more, especially with how much he's throwing all these out, all these projectiles out. Because he's just running into them. So if he dashes, he still has the opportunity to shoot. Definitely. 77%. Ooh, yeah, those bowling, balls bowling balls looking so balls. close. But now Chad Munchie has to be careful because what leads he's had, he's let them go. Oh my god! He loses the stock because he doesn't SD or he I, doesn't um tech. tech. I did not expect that. No. I don't think Chad Munchie did either. No, not from a not a technical player like Chad Munchie losing his stock like that, missing a tech That's right. will I mean Kinzer will definitely take that and will move us on to a game number three situation. Great play from Kinzer. Great play. He knew he had to be a little bit aggressive, he had to take that stock early. So final destination is the choice for this game number three. Let's see if we see that character I think switch. we're going to see the Isabel. Nope, not yet. I'm wrong. No. no. He just wants no platforms. He doesn't want any way for him to, to get away from this void right now. Definitely, because the platforms were helping Kinzer out a lot because it gave him a place for him to land. It provided him with tech chase opportunities and now denying that, I think, this was a good counterpick stage for Chat Munchie. 
But let's see if Kinzer can bring it out. Because Kinzer took game number three. Oh my gosh. Like, that was in Chat Munchie's favor pretty much the entire set. Oh, definitely, yeah. That was Chat Munchie's game to lose. But Kinzer's absolutely putting work here. Just hitting him from the ledge over and over. Oh my goodness. Another forward smash keeping Chat Munchie off the stage. Oh, yeah, just there's barely no reason not that. to. Yeah. I definitely want to see maybe down smash come out of ledge too, because Sonic's down smash is huge. But unnecessarily big. Oh, definitely. Puts on his size 17. Look at that. You read my mind, I told you. I don't like that sound. The sound he makes with down smash? Yeah! No. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That, that's not a Sonic sound. That's not a Sonic <laughs> sound. Both of them just jumping around each other, trying to find their spinning airs. Kins are just running into Lloyd over and over. So much unnecessary percent. Oh, those that lead that Kinzer had has all but evaporated. Kins needs to take the stock ASAP before he gets any more percent. I mean, he's trying to with that forward smash. He's trying to with that forward smash, but every time he goes for it in this game so far, he's gotten the the tree has now hit by the axe. Oh my gosh, the shield pressure from the yeah. axe and the Lloyd. Oh my goodness, barely surviving after that back throw. Anyway, what, was, what I was saying is, I mean, he has been getting those four smashes, but it's just been hitting the balloon, and it's not been taking much, but that neutral B from Kinzer will take stock number one. I'm not sure if he dropped shield or if it poked shield or what was that. That is some great patience there from Kinzer, being able to avoid the setup that Chat Munchie's been going for. Very, oh, got oh, the weak no. hit of up smash. That would have killed. Definitely. That was so important. Needs to seal this stock up now. I agree. Just one back air. One back air towards the ledge. Perhaps a Lloyd. I mean, there's a lot of options. Is it Lloyd or is it Lloyd? Lloyd. Lloyd. I don't yeah. know why I'm calling it Lloyd. Because <laughs> there's two L's. Oh, good, good yeah, patience can, there from Kinzer again. You can hold that homing attack for so long now. It's so nice. It's a, it's a real good buff, I think. It's the new spin dash. The new spin dash, exactly. And already has racked oh. up 93%, but Kins are running or jumping right into that up smash. Will lose stock number one, but then responding with a back air of his own will take Chat Munchie's second stock and now has a pretty sizable lead. A full stock ahead. Yeah, Kins are just throwing up so many hitboxes. Chat Munchie can just beat him with this insanely fast snare. And it's insane. Kins doesn't even have to time Chat Munchie out. He's getting the hits that he needs. And no, not necessarily getting a lot of combos, but at least getting hits and racking up like 10% every single time he does so, so. Definitely, just like we were talking about earlier with Frog and Mayo, like it's just, it's getting that percent consistently every time. It's so important. Definitely. See, yeah, you can just jump over stuff. Kids is doing a great job avoiding these bowling balls and these boys this time around. And he stopped using that downer at the ledge. He stopped making those unsafe options and is now really paying it. That's definitely paying off for him right now in this third game. Definitely, yeah. Uh, he's just sticking the forward smash at ledge. Because there's nothing Chat Munchie can do to challenge him. He just has to OB the ledge. Definitely. 902% on Kinzer's second stock. Has already racked up 105% extra credit. That up air not going to take it just yet. There's one of the balloons. Yeah, I definitely think down smash could pop both of those balloons. Oh! oh fantastic my. recovery from Kinzer. Yes. Holding on to the second stock still. That being able to use that air dodge to get back, back onto the stage. Oh, not quite the back throw. Great recognition from Kinzer knowing it wouldn't kill yet, so he did not want to stale it. Because now it would kill. Definitely missing that grab. Chap Munchie is in a serious disadvantage right now. He's got a oh my gosh, that is not what he needs to do. No, he ran right into that smash attack, and Kinzer will take it 2 1 over Chap Munchie. Chap Munchie just got too impatient. He just, he, he wasn't setting up his items. I don't think Kinzer was really letting him set up his items how he wanted to from game one and game two. Game three, Kinzer definitely turned up the pressure and started spacing his moves a lot better. I definitely agree. That final destination pick was really good for Kinzer. It just gave him the opportunity to just be...